Tony Z. So I understand this is your first interview together, right? Mm -hmm. So let's make it a good one. Let's all have right. some fun with this, all right? Mm -hmm. Who wants to go first? Who wants to start? I go first. You go first, all right. Let's <laughs> <laughs> start to go first. What do you appreciate most about Tony as a ball carrier? Well, I say I appreciate most about Tony as a ball carrier, just how he hit it. Um, I mean, he just sometimes get the get the ball, he shoot out there like a rocket. Got the got the vision. He'll set his his runs up. But I mean, not only does he have that that breakaway speed and that, that acceleration, but he runs physical too. Tony, what do you appreciate most about Zeke as a ball carrier? Well, I would say what I appreciate most about Zeke as a ball carrier, um, you know, the toughness that he plays with. You know, um, how physical he is running the ball. And um, just the understanding that he has for the game and, you know, blocking schemes and all that. What do you like most about Zeke as an overall football player? He's selfless. What about Tony? What's your favorite aspect of Tony as a football player? Um, I'll just say his versatility. Because, I mean, I think uh, a lot of people see Tony, they just see the 60-yard the runs. They see the, the big explosive plays. But I don't think he get enough credit just for his blocking ability, uh, his physical his physical nature, and uh, I mean, not only he's not just running by those defenders, he, they, they feeling him too. <laughs> yeah. Tony, you said Zeke is selfless, how so? Uh, I mean, the way he just goes about everything. Um, I mean, the mindset that he comes in with every day is team first. Um, the way he puts his body on the line, um, pass protecting for the quarterback, you know, picking up guys that, you know, it's not even his guy to pick up, you know, just, just doing everything for the team, you know, putting himself on the back run. Zeke, what does it mean to you to hear Tony say that about you? I mean, I really appreciate that. You know, it really means a lot. You know, and, I, and I, that's just how I like to approach this game. You know, it's, this game football, it takes 11 of us to, to make it go. Uh, and really more than that, 52 uh, in the league. And uh, I mean, we all got to do our job no matter what that job is. Uh, and you can't be too big for any role. You can't be, you know what I mean? You can't be too good to play any role. You, if you're really about the team, you'll do anything and everything it takes to go out there and help your team win the ball game. So everybody knows your trademark celebration, you know, feeds Z, um, your big play celebration. How did you get to a point where you were comfortable sharing? Um, I mean, honestly, like, just you, TP, his, his ability is, is, I mean, it speaks for itself. I mean, you see, he's definitely, you know, one of the best football players on his team. And, and you got to have your best football players on the team, on, on the field. And so, I mean, I, I just truly believe that, you know, our team is better, our offense is better, you know, when he's getting his touches. You know, he's got to touch that football just because he's so explosive. He, he can do so much with the ball. You know, you got you to put it in his hands. Was there ever a point where you had to convince yourself that that was the best thing? I mean, you're a two-time rushing champion, a guy that's used to getting – most of the carries was there ever a point where you had to come around to that way of thinking or that was just natural for you um you know I, I say it definitely was a point where i had to come around to it i probably really say last year last year i had to really come around to it and because just i just was trained mentally like okay you gotta be in there like really i was playing 90 percent of the plays before tp got here um 90 percent of the plays you know i'm coming out for a couple plays catching my breath they rush me back in so it just it, it just had to be a mentality switch, and it was it was it was a little hard at first. It definitely was a little hard at first, but you know. But at the end of the day, what's important? What's important is the team, you know, winning football games, and and uh, you know, you just gotta trust the process. And what's that process been like for you, Tony? Given your ability, given what you're able to do to share with Zeke. Um, you know, just just staying within myself. Um, you know, not worrying about too much. You know, that I can't control. And, you know, just, just making sure whenever my number's called, you know, that I'm ready, ready for more opportunities and uh, making sure that, you know, they had the confidence to call my number one. How do y'all feed off each other, Tony? Um, I mean, it's just, it's the energy. Like, if you see one person go out there, make a play, get a big run, I mean, sideline feeds off of that, running back, you know, we're feeding off of that. We're on the sideline, talking, turn, you know, if he gets in and, and gets the touchdown, you know, I'm on the sideline waiting for him to get back. So, you know, it's just the team mentality. Everybody eats. How do y'all feed off each other, Zeke? Um, yeah, like he said, just, I mean, he, he go out there and ball, and that make me want to go out there and ball. I mean, honestly, my, my favorite part, you know, we've kind of gotten to it uh, a couple of times this year. I think the main one that kind of comes out to me is, is the Rams game, man. And then we were running the ball, you know, at will. It would be like me for three plays, 
you know, it might be two, three runs in a row, then TP coming right in, two, three runs in a row, and we just gassing them, man. And that just, one, that, that, that just, you can feel the energy being taken out of the defense when, you, when, you, when you're doing that to them. And uh, just kind of experiencing that, you know, we just, we want to get back to that, you know, as much as we can this year. I mean, just that physical nature. I mean, that's tough on, tough on those defenses when you got a fresh back in all the time. And, and not only a fresh back, but a fresh, you know, elite back. And so, um, yeah. And what's that balance, Zeke? Because, you know, going back to the feed, Zeke, it's like there's always the, the school of thought where a running back needs carriers to get in rhythm. But then on the other hand, you're fresh. So what's that balance there with being in rhythm but also being fresh? Um, I, I think, uh, I mean, yeah, you can get into a rhythm by, you know, getting more and more touches. But, I mean, in this situation, we both got to touch it. You know, it, it's not going to be, you know, me getting that bit 20 or it's not going to be. <laughs> <laughs> you comfortable. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> We're not taking that out. Don't worry. <laughs> hey. It's not going to be me getting getting the rock, you know, 25, 30 times a game. Yeah. Um, you know, it, it, it's going to be, hopefully, it's, it's 20 touches, 20 touches. And, uh, you know, we're leaning on that defense. And, and, uh, and, and honestly, you know, this season, I mean, the season's only getting longer. Uh, we added a new game last year. And, and I'm not going to lie, you know, in the past, you know, I've made it through the regular season. But by the time the playoffs come around, you know, that body hurting, you know, it, it's really hurting it. And when you start thinking about longevity, you know, your career's longevity and just just being fresh towards the end of the season, it just it makes more sense. You know, this this way makes more sense. It makes more sense for us to, you know, split that load and and you know, t tear them defenses up together. So he's extending your career. Yes, sir. And what's he done for your career, Tony? Same way, vice versa. Now, you guys are running the same plays though. So like, can you explain, Tony, how Y'all balance keeps defenses all this balance when y'all are running the same plays. Yeah, I mean, we're running the same plays, but we're two completely different players. You know, we have two different play styles. So I may run the same play one way, completely different, and he may run the same play another way that's completely different. And the defense, you know, they have to feel for that. They have to, you know, kind of anticipate what this runner likes to do when he's in the game. And a new runner come in, you have to find, you know, what this runner likes to do. So it just keeps the defense on their toes and guessing. Speaking of guests, let me see how well y'all know each other. Zeke, what is Tony's favorite play to run? What's the name of his favorite play? Ha, <laughs> we like the same plays. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What's y'all favorite play? Uh, favorite play right now, smack. So it's just like an inside zone. We get our shoulder square. Should we get? We just did this. Before we <laughs> got off the field at practice, we were just talking about this. Smack, y'all just. So smack, it's called smack. It's just an inside, inside zone. Uh, you know, just get our shoulder square and we got option running. You know, it's not like right. we got we can hit it literally front side all the way. We could bring it all the way back. So it just give us options and give us the ability to, you know, set the linebackers up and put them where we want to put them, put them on, on their blockers. And then we could, they, they really not, can never be right. You're really picking your poison. Yeah. Yeah. When you were uh, down for a couple of games, what was it like for you watching Tony shine? Man, it felt good. You know, it felt good to see him get his opportunity, not only get his opportunity, but to take full advantage of it. Because, um, I mean, you know, those couple games that, that Tony had while I was out, I mean, spectacular. I think he went over over 100 every time. Uh, what, 150? 150, one of them. Yeah. About, what, three, four touchdowns? <laughs> um, so, I mean, just for him to go out there and, and do his thing, you know, it felt good. Would you have felt a different pressure in the past in terms of, getting back but for Tony's uh, emergence um I mean I think I think it it definitely it definitely helped help me not not rush it back just because I know knew that you know that we were in good hands yeah. uh, I knew that I knew just the type of player Tony is and, and this is the type of room we got you know it's just not just us two it's, it's our whole room you know we all have a very good relationship and and we're gonna do everything we need to do to help each other succeed and and when, when one person in the unit has success, we all have a success. Mm -hmm. And how did the Zeke support you when it was your turn to carry the load? How did he support you when he was injured? Uh, I mean, just, just always being there, you know, in my ear, giving me little pointers, um, you know, watching the defense while I'm out there on the field, um, coming to the sideline, you know, being locked in. It, it wasn't like, you know, we're at the game and he's just there, but just at the game. But like, he was there like a coach, like the headset, you know, he's listening to the plays. 
looking at the defense, you know, giving me suggestions. So it was just, you know, big having him, you know, in my corner, even when he wasn't on the field. As a matter of fact, Malik Davis was telling me a, a few minutes ago that sometimes if Zeke makes a mistake in practice, he may not want to say nothing, but he'll tell you to say something to Zeke. Um, but you guys are real good about critiquing each other. Yeah. Where does, can you kind of take me inside that process of how you guys coach each other? I mean, everybody out there, you're trying to be the best player that we can be. And um, that's not possible if you won't let guys critique you and, and tell you when you're wrong. And, you know, if you're not willing to, you know, put your pride to the side and, and listen to, oh, I did this wrong. Oh, I should have did this or I could have did that. So that's just a part of, you know, just being a team first and just, you know, just doing everything to win. And Zeke, what have you learned from Tony? You're a veteran and you're still learning from a younger guy. Oh, he's a veteran too, but you're a little older. You're still learning from Tony. What have you learned from Tony? Shoot, uh, I mean, I probably the biggest thing is, you know, you don't necessarily got to get, get in that rhythm to, to go out there and get your plays. Like, what really, like, like Tony, like, up until this year, he had, you know, only a, I mean, every year has been growing. His, right. his, his, his touches have grown, but, you know, at the beginning, you know, he's, he, he's got to make it, take advantage of, you know, the, the reps that he's getting in. And, and every time he's getting there, he's doing something spectacular. Every time he's getting there, he's making explosive plays. And, and I mean, that's, that's how he's, he's, he's earned the role to, to, to even get more touches. That's how he's gotten more touches because, you know, every time you put him out there, he, he goes out there and does something spectacular. What does it mean to you when uh, Zach Martin says stuff like, you know, Zeke embodies the identity of this team? I mean, it, feel, it feels good, uh, you know, it feels good, but I mean, that's just, that's just what this game is about. I said, it, said it earlier, take 11 of us, uh, 11, 11 of us at a time. You know, I can't go out there and do it by myself. TP can't go out there doing it by himself. Zach can't, Dak can't. Um, you know, it takes all of us, and, and uh, I just feel like, you know, as a leader, you got you to gotta lead by example. Um, you can't, you know, you can't go ask someone else to go out there and do the, the, do the dirty work if you're not going to go out there and do it yourself. And so, you know, I just, I think, uh, you know, every, every time I'm, I'm stepping out there, I'm stepping out there to, you know, help the team win and, and also show my, my teammates that I'm willing to do anything to help, help us win this football game. And, and I, I just want you guys to, you know, empty the bucket the same way. Tony, do y'all listen at all to the outside, the discussion about who should start, who should play more? I mean, you hear it, but... You have to do a good job of just, you know, blocking that out and just being professional because, you know, playing for the Cowboys, that's, that comes with it 100%. Like, you know, the media is a big part of being a Dallas Cowboy. Um, every day you're going to be talked about on Sports Center, things like that. So it's expected, you know, you, you kind of expect, like, for people to have your name just ringing around, but you have to know how to block it out and just come in and just get your job done. And we talked about your star turn and then Zeke comes back last week and he takes the, the lead role with, you know, over 90 yards. What did it mean for the team to see Zeke come back the way that he did against the Giants? Oh, um, I mean, it was big, you know, it was showing, you know, that, you know, he still has it, you know, he came back looking fresh, showed, you know, he's ready to go out there and compete. And um, it wasn't like he was coming back, you know, timid or, you know, just babysitting his injury. Like he came back and was, you know, had a good game out there. And Jerry Jones said this team's offense goes as you go. Do you feel that? Uh, you know, I think I think it's often gonna go as a run game go. You know, it might might not be me, it might be Tony. Uh, you know, it might be shoot if I'm down or Tony down, it might be Malik. You know, I think, but I think the the offense is gonna it's gonna go through the run game because uh, when you look at the defense we got and just those all, all those that D line we got is so deep. Um, I mean, really, all we gotta do is <laughs> keep them fresh. <laughs> you know, what I mean, we gotta get a couple first downs here and there. Uh, you know, we got to score in the red zone. We got to capitalize off the turnovers that they that they making. But we got we got to keep them fresh. You know, keep them off the field as much as we can. And uh, I mean, I, I just don't see a lot of teams scoring scoring that many points on us. Yeah. What do you think of the discussion and the, and the debate about y'all playing time? Um, you know, I think I think I think everyone's got something to say. Uh, you know, um, but I mean, the professionals are in this building. <laughs> yeah. It's easy to be a talking head and it is. And, and, <laughs> and, and, and say, I mean, even I catch myself doing it sometimes when I'm watching games just at home. <laughs> you know, to my homeboys, I'm like, dang, I sound like one of them. <laughs> but uh, but uh, I mean, shoot, I mean, whatever it is, I'm do what I gotta do for this team. <laughs> and you guys know the reality of the situation uh, when it comes to your contract, 
your contract. Do you guys think to yourselves or talk between each other about the future as, as it relates to this relationship about beyond this season? Zeke? Uh, we had some drunk conversations about it. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. We, we done had some, some, some drunk conversations about it, but uh, I What's mean, the drink of choice, first of all? Yeah, I'm a tequila guy. <laughs> I'm a tequila mm -hmm. guy. So y'all have tequila. What are y'all? What are those conversations like? Um, I mean, I think I think it's gonna work itself out. You know, I think I think it's something that is gonna work itself out when the time comes. And, and uh, right now we just gotta go focus on winning that Super Bowl, and, and uh, then we can we, we'll figure that out after the season. Tony, how much do you think about it? Um, not much actually. Um, I mean, I know you know it's it's a big deal. I know um, you know it's it's a lot, but. I'm just trying to, you know, stay focused on, you know, week by week, day by day, and just like he said, just letting the rest play out. Mention those drunk conversations. How much do you guys spend time together off the field? Uh, we spend, we spend, you know, a good amount of time. You, you know, we spend a lot of time together at the facility. So, you know, what I mean, we we'll, we'll get get together here and there. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, yeah, I mean, we definitely kick it. <laughs> What's something that would surprise people about Zeke the person? Oh, uh, man, he's a, a big kid. <laughs> like, he's a, a big kid. Like, it's playful, energetic, uh, loud all day, but you love it. But it's just, you, you probably wouldn't expect that mm -hmm. just from the outside. And what's something that would surprise people about Tony, the person? Um, I wouldn't be like a surprise, but just like his relationship with his daughter, like, it's so close. And, and it's just so funny. You see him, you see his daughter, they like twins. And, <laughs> and just like his relationship with his daughter is, is beautiful. What's this relationship done for y'all personally and professionally? I mean, two alphas sacrificing for the good of the team. What's it done for you personally, Zeke? Uh, I would say it definitely just made me, you know, grow as a person, you know, grow as a leader. It made me learn, you know, you know, sometimes, you know, your role is going to change. Uh, uh, made, and I, I say like probably this was you know, the, the first time it happened in the league. And, and so just kind of, you know, knowing that, you know, your role may change, but, you know, you just got to keep your head down and, and, and keep grinding. What's it done for you, Tony, having this, this partnership? I would say just, just knowing that, um, you know, everything may not go the way you want it to, but, you know, everything happens for a greater good. So, I mean, I feel like, you know, it's, it's kind of like a life lesson, like, Sometimes when you feel like you should be doing something or you think you should be doing this or that, but at the end you're not and then like it's it's all for the greater good. So just knowing that sometimes you have to put your ego and pride to the side for the big picture. So you basically like that. Like you said, everybody eats. Yeah. Speaking of which, have we have we settled on a nickname? I've, so I've heard Sledgehammer and Sword, which is kind of long. Yeah. Yin and Yang. Thunder and Lightning is kind of played out. Yeah. Have, have we, oh, we, we oh, need a Don and Dash. Don yeah, and Don Dash. and Dash. Oh, we, we try and find, we got. We, Don and Dash we, is good. I, I, I yeah, I like Don and Dash. Uh, that will make, that make our chance. That will make our chance. We just got to find the right, we're not in the rest to, to, to jump in, you know what I mean, throw yeah. a name on it. Because once we, we, we pick our name, like. It's stamped. It, it's stamped, you know <laughs> right. what I mean? Ain't no, no switching it back. up. Yeah. So, you, you know. Gotta let just, it happen organically. Yeah, we might need to. Uh, I need to get somebody on that for us, you know what I mean? <laughs> Got to workshop it a little bit. Got to workshop it a little bit. All right, uh, we're going to pop quiz you guys, all right? Care to guess? Do, okay, let's see. I, I wonder how much y'all track this. Who has more carries this season? Is it close? It is. I think it's close. Uh, five. Great, great guess, four. Okay. Four more carries. In the two games since Zeke has come back, who has more carries? I think I do. Yeah, TP. By how many? It's close. <laughs> it is. Four. <laughs> Pretty good. Two. Multiple. <laughs> two. <are> dip <laughs> Pretty good. But like that, y'all have almost balanced this thing perfectly. Yeah. You know. All right. Best running back duo in Cowboys history. Go. Cowboys history. Um, I mean, you got so many good ones. Uh, I mean, I think even at one point you had what Felix. Marion oh, Barber and DeMarco Murray all on the same team. So right. I probably have to say, like, it has to be, I mean, either, I mean, or us. <laughs> Can we say it? <laughs> I think it's your interview. 
Yes, I think you can say y'all. I think I think we could rock with ourselves. Fact. <laughs> Why y'all? Why not us? I mean, shoot. I mean, I think I think we bring bring it all. We bring it all. You know. Uh, you know. Yeah. I think we both versatile. Um, you know, different running styles, but in some way can can do it all. And and uh, yeah, I like us. Yeah. Tony, you talk the way you run. You straight to the point. Straight, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you hit the hole and you gone. Like you, you ain't take, you ain't not a lot of words. That's one hundred percent true. You there, take that. you there. Um, all right, a little easier one, or maybe it might be harder. Best running back duo in NFL history. All right, we talked about this one in the room. Now it was when we got Bo Jackson, a like tailback, and you moved. Uh, was it Jim oh, Brown? Mar- no, no, Mar- no. Mar- no. Mar- no. Mar- <laughs> Marcus Allen. Marcus, yeah, Marcus yeah. Allen and, and, and yeah. Bo Jackson. <laughs> that's Tech Bowl days right there. Yeah. yeah. That's where you go, Marcus Allen, Bo yeah. Jackson? Because what? So Marcus Allen was the starter, and then Bo Jackson came in, yeah. and Marcus Allen moved the fullback. The fullback. <laughs> yeah, that was a. Uh, and then what? Marcus Allen finished, finished at the Jets, huh? Chiefs. Chiefs. Yeah. All right. Um, let's expand it a little bit. We're going to stay in sports. Best NBA duo of all time. Ooh. Right, I'm Shaq and Kobe. I was just about to say Shaq and Kobe. <laughs> Shaq and Kobe. That's, that's, yeah, I was about I to say. I think that was easy. Right. <laughs> if y'all were an NBA duo, who would it be? Would it be Shaq and Kobe? Yeah. Genera- generational here. I'm a little older. I'm Michael and Scotty. I think it's a generational gap that we have here. Mm-hmm. Just a little yeah. bit. <laughs> just a yeah. little bit. Um, all right. Y'all in the movies and television? Uh, a little bit. A little bit, bit yeah. Best on screen duo. Movie or TV? Um, Robin Big. Robin Big, I'm gonna go. <laughs> I'm gonna go Will Smith, Martin Lawrence. That's a hey, good one. Actually, that's a good one. <laughs> that's a good one. <laughs> that's a good one. Last one. And I think I know where you're gonna go with this one, given where you're from. Uh best hip hop duo of all time. You first, Zeke. I'm going to let TP go first. <laughs> I think I know where he's going to go. At least I got an idea where he's going. You probably think I'm going to say A by MJG. That's what I would have figured coming from Memphis and all. I'm going to say Key Glock and, and the Young Dog. But they ain't really a duo. Yeah, they exactly. just Bro. together. But yeah, I say A by MJG. That's a real duo. Um, I had to pass on that one. Pass? That was the <laughs> easiest one. Uh, I don't really like, I wouldn't say I'm the biggest music head. You could have gone Outkast, you know? Could have gone. Hey, you could have gone Snoop and Pac. Go back in the day if you wanted. That's okay. It's, that's a hard one. I put you on the spot. I put you on the yeah. spot. <laughs> so what'd y'all think? First interview. First and many together? Yeah, first and many for sure. I appreciate the exclusive, fellas. Yeah, appreciate like this. you. It was smooth. All right, y'all keep doing y'all thing. Thank right. you. Thank you. Appreciate it, bro. Thank Love. You. Good looking out. Appreciate, appreciate you, time, man. Good looking out. Thank yes, you. Mark this lift out. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.